Okay guys, so uh, it's been a little while since I've made a YouTube video and I figured I'd let you guys know what's been going on and why it's been so long since I've uh, made a YouTube video. So, I guess we'll start here. In the bedroom. Mm hmm. No. Alright, so, okay, so what I got here is actually a water cooling block, okay, this, this heat sink really ain't doing that much, but it is helping keep the water at least room temperature, and then in behind it here, right there, that thing with suction cups on the side, that's the water pump, and the hose goes up in behind there, which you can't really see, but it hooks up into a rad, which is right there. A little beat up, but it's freebie, compliments of crazy like Albert. He uh, was able to give me a quick hand and said he had that extra, so he hooked me up with that. And inside the computer, can't really see it there, I'll shine some light. Okay, so inside the computer there, I'm just going to move this over a notch. Right there, I've got my uh, heat sink that I custom made. Yeah, a sec here. Try and move some wires out of the way so you can see. better? A little bit. Okay, and then all the hoses. Right there is copper tubing, which is a quarter inch. Okay, and uh, then I got that white thing there. I'll just tip that this way. Okay, and that is actually the temp meter I'm using. Right now I'm at 26.6 degrees on the actual CPU. What I've done there, and actually Crazy Like Albert showed me how to do this, is I've ran the wire down into the front of my case, and actually that wire is right there. That white wire, it goes right there in behind, uh, in between the CPU and the copper plate. Uh. So yeah, so that is why I really haven't been making videos, because I've been in the midst of trying to get my computer to run cooler. But, okay, I got something to show you here. Uh, we'll just make sure that's all zoomed out. This, right here, Got to turn the light out. It's a uh, little bright. Just wait for that to get a little power. Let me put that down on this. Okay, so that right there is a CPU. Okay, all the pins. It's an AM2. 6,000. Now, my heat temperatures, the, the change is only like 2 degrees whether I'm playing the game or whatnot. It will only jump 2 degrees. If you guys have ever used anything like speed pan or anything like that, you will know that usually your CPU core jumps by like 10 to 15 degrees when you play games. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean the core is jumping that high because the sensors, the temp sensors inside these CPUs are actually not that accurate. So what I've done, instead of putting the thermal temperature that I have, the thermal meter, instead of putting that on top here, I've actually 
remove that okay so there you go now how I did that was uh, with a torch okay because what they do here is actually right there in the middle they've actually soldered this down to the core of the CPU and basically this is going to help you protect your CPU from any damage make sure that you don't crack the core when you're putting a heat sink on but it also takes away from uh, low temperatures okay now if you're looking at this it looks silver in which it actually is it is silver but it's not real silver it's painted silver underneath the silver is actually uh, uh, copper it's all I can't tell this is all painted too that square copper looking stuff isn't copper that's more paint so that's taken away from, from your temperature now if you don't know what you're doing or how to do that or whatever I suggest don't attempt it because I don't know if you noticed in this video but just give that a minute but my computer is still going well the CPU is not in there okay and how that works is this is the second CPU this is the first one I had and I accidentally uh, had a slight issue when I was removing it I got a small hole in the core I won't be able to zoom in close enough but there's a small hole right in that corner there which totally fucked it and then uh, because the thing was so hot and I was trying to adjust it because my vice was letting go I accidentally dropped it which gave it a gouge on the side there can you tell right there so that completely fucked the CPU but that's okay because uh, compliments of my brother he hooked me up with some money to uh, get a new one so I got a new one everything's up and running and now I just gotta start uploading videos and whatnot but anyways guys sorry about the long wait for new videos um, By the way, while we're uh, here talking about my computer issues and whatnot, I just figured it'd be probably smart to tell you that uh, that 26.6 Celsius that you've seen, that's not because it's running stock. It runs like 19 when it's stock. Uh, what I've actually done here, see if I can find it one second. Okay, so, like I was saying here, is, uh, the CPU isn't stock. Okay, so we're just gonna zoom up into this. Uh, where is it here? Model, blah, 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 right there. Core voltage. One... 0.568 volts okay average is uh, 136 139 sorry to 138 somewhere in there okay uh, right now my core speed is actually 
actually really low. It's only at 1100 megahertz, five times multiplier. Oh, there's nine. You, you've seen it change there. I have a uh, cool and quiet running right now for something to do, so we're just going to shut that off. Hang on a sec. Okay, so I've got cool and quiet off, and we're at 3300 megahertz. Okay, that's what I'm overclocking. Now I can up the multiplier, but I don't know. It probably won't like it. We can try. Yeah, like I said, it won't like it. It won't do nothing. Didn't think so. The board only uh, supports up to 15 times. So, I guess we can't play with that one. Okay, anyways, I figured I'd show you why I was down. Anyways, guys, have a good one.